what have you made the last few days, mate? Yeah, it's been good. Um, boys are training really well. Um, we've had a few different sessions sessions as well along the way. We've obviously went paintballing and stuff yesterday, so the bonding side of it's been really good. Um, you, you don't get opportunities like this um, back home, particularly in Adelaide. Obviously, once you finish training, you go go home and um, spend time with your family. So to spend time away as a group, I think it's really important for us and. Um, to get to know the young guys as well, it's it's good to see their their personalities start to come out as well. But the boys are training really hard, and um, another tough session coming up now. You rocking any bruises from uh, yesterday? Yeah, I've mate, got or? a few uh, floating around on the neck and uh, here, there, and everywhere. So I got ambushed at one stage. I was laying on the ground, and um, our team retreated, and I didn't realise, and uh, ended up on the deck and a few guns over the top of me. So yeah, but uh, no, it was all good fun. How's the camp in general compared to last year's camp that was obviously up there? Yeah, very similar. Um, we've probably done a few different activities um, differently this year as well. But um, I think the work we've done is probably an extra five or ten percent on top of that. Um, the running sessions and training sessions have been quite quite grueling and, and taxing and. Obviously, with two days to go, it's going to be quite big for um, this afternoon. But the boys did a really hard session this morning as well, so um, we'll back it up again tomorrow. So it'll be a, a really good way to finish finish the camp. Um, but it, it's been another outstanding camp, and the, the locals have really looked after us outstandingly. The, the Sunshine Coast people um, certainly embrace AFL football when it comes up here, and uh, I think they, they get a, a kick out of it as much as we do, and um, everything's been faultless so far for us and um, the accommodation and, and the gym and they've, they've welcomed us with open arms which is uh, a really nice thing as well. And you talked about the, the bonding I understand behind closed doors you've had some special guest speakers but also some players really opening up to the group. Yeah 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 well it's, it's a big thing that um, I think a lot of footy clubs but particularly this one we've, we've gone down that track of um, making sure that we open each other up be vulnerable and I think we've seen that over um, over 12 months now and it was a huge shift in focus for us. Fossey obviously drew that, um, instigated that last year and um, we've continued to grow that this, this um, pre-season camp and we'll continue to grow it through the, throughout the year. But to hear some of the voice stories, um, have the guest speakers in, it, it's, it's really important and you get to know each other on a deeper level and um, I think your empathy and um, understanding of, of why people are certain ways because of that um, and their life experiences that they've been through. So. The good thing is as well, people have opened up and told stories and, and a lot of the guys probably can relate to something that someone else is saying. So it, it builds an instant connection and once they've finished speaking, you, you see them go and, go and speak to each other about it. So it's a, a real positive thing and something that will continue to grow. I saw you in the pink hat the other day, mate. How much training have you actually been undertaking? Yeah, I've done um, pretty much all the training throughout, throughout the summer. Um, I'd like to do a little bit more midfield work to work with Jared Schofield, and um, <laughs> but I'll, I'll be uh, out of the pink hat um, just after Christmas. Obviously, another shoulder operation. The pink hat pretty much means no contact. So um, I've completed all, all sessions um, up to Christmas. Feel really good. So once the hat comes off, I think I've set a really good foundation base to, to have a really big um, post Christmas period and, and hopefully a, a really big season as well. Right for round one, do you think? Yeah, I'll be right for round one. Yeah, I'll be. Um, pretty much full full training. Um, I don't even know what day we're back, January 9 or something like that. So I'll be, uh, yeah, the, when the whips are cracking, I'll be there. Has it all gone to plan, the recovery? How's it, you know, has it progressed as expected? Yeah, yeah. So uh, the first two times we had the full reconstruction, then the third, last last season we had the Latigee surgery, which is a, a quicker recovery time, but um, obviously a, a bit more major surgery. So. Um, it's ticked all the boxes along the way. It's just about continuing to build the strength back and now um, the, the left side's just a little bit not as strong as the right side. So just trying to balance that out and get it as up, up to strength as quick as we can now. And what's your goals for pre-season being you can't fully get involved? And, yeah. yeah, well, it's pretty much just getting K's in the legs. Um, get your strength back as best you can. Continue to get the range of movements through the shoulder. So as I said, post Christmas I'll be in, in full. So we've got, I think, two sessions now until we break for Christmas. So. Um, pretty much in all, all the work now. From spending a bit of time up here in Queensland, that, are you too far removed now to be used to these sort of conditions? Pretty hot out here. Oh, I don't think you ever get used to these conditions. Um, the humidity gets hold of you pretty, pretty quickly. So, uh, looking forward to the session this afternoon. We'll sort, sort of see out. There's no doubt about that. But um, you can never really acclimatise the conditions up here. I think no matter no matter what you do, um, it's always pretty trying conditions.
who's impressed you out there so far when you when you have had a look, mate? Oh, well, initially I was leaving Robbie Robbie Gray a fair way behind um, in the running, but he's, he's sort of kicked into gear the last couple of days and, and caught up, which has been good. But I think the young kids that have come in and had an impact, like um, all the draftees, uh, Miles Bergman's trained really well. Um, like the guys that, that are often spoken about, Dan Houston, um, Darcy Byrne Jones, Carl Amon, that, that are going to take us to that next level. Um, they've been really good, but across the group, I don't think um, anyone came back in bad shape or anything like that. So it just sets up a really good foundation and base for us to go to that next level. And, and we feel like we're, we're ready to put, um, pounce um, in 2020.